Hi everybody, I'm Nicole. I'm Eli. I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. And we are Who in the Tour YouTube channel. And we thank you very much for joining us. We actually took about five times to actually get this intro down. <laughs> we have people cracking up. We don't mean to be, um, but that's just the way it is. And um, how are you guys doing out there? How's everybody out there? Um, how are you guys? Good. good. Gentlemen, did you have a good Shabbat yeah, right. for the most part? Yeah. Everything? Cows broke into our field yesterday, and uh, they were sitting out there eating all of our corn. That was very disheartening. They didn't um, get all of it, only just a little. Yeah, but they uh, it was still on Shabbat, and Nicole's out there picking up steaks. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Well, it was true. We The gate was I broken. I wasn't picking up sticks. I picked up a... Single, two sticks <laughs> to fix the fence, the uh, gate that was broken. We, we all, uh, our oxen not only fell in the dish, but he jumped into our field and was eating everything, making a ditch. Threw so. us into the ditch. Yeah, well. he threw us into the ditch, and then he started fighting the boys. And so um, it was it was kind of a rough Shabbat, um, but we made it through that. And um, hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are well. Um, and I guess we'll get on. I don't have too much to say. Anyone have anything, anything enlightening to say? No. Nothing. No, no, today's the first day. Today's the day you should be in work and not be driving to go pay some dude in the pulpit. Yeah, don't pay some non-Levite guy money on a Shabbat. That's terrible. I don't know. Well, it's not a Shabbat. It's like a first day. So I guess it really doesn't matter. So I guess the synagogue of Satan pay up whenever you want to. All right, let's do it. The handy dandy split screen. Bada bang. And the grand said we needed a, a drum roll the other day for my bad joke, whatever it was. The son of none. Yeah, the son of none. <laughs> I told you he had no father. He was the son of none. <laughs> okay, here we go. Wow. So we're <clears throat> yeah, starting numbers fourteen. Let's. Um, anybody right. have a quick recap of this? Okay, so uh, we're gonna recap from the last chapter where uh, Yahuwah tells Moshe. He says, "All right, so you're gonna send a man from each tribe." And you are going to have them spy out their promised land. And they're going to come back and bring a report. So Moses tells them what to do. He says, go look at the land. Go look at the buildings. Go look at the trees. Go look at the fruit. Go look at the plentifulness. Go look at the size. Go look at the people. And bring a report back. Let us know. So they bring back a giant cluster of grapes. And the and we have Caleb and Joshua who are the future leaders of Yasharel after Moses dies. They are destined to be that. And they're, they say, we're ready. We're ready to take this land. And... The other 11 people from the tribe of Yashrael, the leaders that were supposed to spy it out, actually said that it was impossible for them. They said it. they're too scared, the people are too large, because they were Nephilim, which means they were giants from a corrupted DNA of the fallen angels. So he said they're giants, we're, we're, just, we're just bugs in their eyes, we can't Rats take it. Us. And it scared the people, right? So here we are. Yeah, it scared the people, and this is after Yah had saved them over and over and over again. And um, it just, he can't find a faithful people that are loyal to him. And I guess as we're reading through this, I would challenge everybody that is out there to stay faithful to Yah. Never, ever turn your back on him. Never doubt his power. Never doubt his greatness. Never doubt his loyalty to us. And it, it's, it's not too much to ask that we are loyal to him. I mean, here's what I was thinking about life the other day. Uh, let, me, let me take a quick sidestep on this whole thing. Creation begins, I mean... As a, as an individual who's created, I'm an individual created. You guys are individuals that are created. We are created entities, right? But we can sit and think about things, right? We can dwell on things. We have a mind. We have a free will. We can choose. We can make our plans, right? Everything that we do, we are completely capable of, uh, and we're highly functional, right? We're not just um, some slaves that were made to sit there and, you know, worship Yah, like, oh, glory, 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 and never say, it, right? He gave us everything, and including the design, including our, our families, including everything, everything good is from our creator. And the when we take our first breath as, as a baby, we were in the, the fire and water for nine months, and it created all our, our members. It created everything that we are. It's just an amazing design. There's nothing better than the way our creator is and his ingenuity, his engineering, everything. I cannot find a bad thing in creation, and we owe him everything. It, it, it's not, you know, when we have people that will not, they're like, I'm not going to bow to a higher power. I'm not going to get on my knees to them. And you ask, Why? Why did you create the world? Did you create what? If, what was the last plant you created? What was the last design you came up with? And not take something and change the structure of it and grow something. But what did you build? What have you built? That is our Creator, who's built a wondrous system, and he's he's called his people. And every single day, we need to glorify our Creator. We need to thank him for the day that we have life 
every single day because he gave life and he can also take life. And everything that we have, every last heartbeat we have is in his hand. We will not die without his approval. We will not be in, in dire strait without his approval, right? He has to nod off on all the great evil that comes against us. And it's not him, right? It is his forces of evil that, are, are, that have been put up on this land that are, that are doing these kind of things. But he's given us a way. He's given us a hope. He gave us a Messiah. And he gave us a, a, a destination that we can choose our Elohim. We can choose a beautiful path to go. So, yeah, as we get into Numbers 14 and as we see the errors of the old people's way and the lack of faith after these people had just walked across a, a sea that was dry, after they had seen all these plagues in Egypt, killing firstborns, hearing the screaming and the wailing of death all around them, hail and all the, the blood in the water, yet they could not figure out the faith. And this is why I'd like to challenge everybody out there not to be these people but to be strong in your faith and never, ever take your eye off the kingdom to come. All right, Numbers 14. And all the assembly lifted up their voice and cried, and the people wept that night. Now, why did the people cry? They were scared of the giants. Yeah, the giants. Again, these beta males standing at the front door crying, right? Ah, dude, don't cry. Don't cry. Stand up, man. Fight, okay? And all the children of Yashrael murmured against Moshe and against Aaron. And the whole assembly said unto them, would to Elohim that we had died in the land of Mitriam, or would to Elohim we had died in this wilderness. Um, and so I guess a better version of that uh, in NIV says, if only we had died in Egypt. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, great. Die as slaves instead of free men. Okay, three. And wherefore has Yahuwah brought us unto this land to fall by the sword that our women and our children should be a prey? Were it not better for us to return into Mitriam? And these are slaves. These are people that were the 400 generation, right? Or 400 years, not 400 generation, but 400 years. So there were at least three or four. There's probably three or four generations that were born in slavery, right? They knew nothing else other than this. But then all of a sudden, a hand came and delivered these people. And they're like, ah, we shouldn't we just died in Mitzrayim? Okay, four. And they said one to another, let us make a captain and let us return into Mitzrayim. All right. If I were Moses, I would have started beating them all. I would have taken my rod and I would have started beating them all. Uh, it's just they're, they're ending up with the dummy award. They're just really getting the dummy award. Then Moshe and Aaron fell on their faces before all the assembly of the assembly of the children of Yashrael. So there's the two leaders of the entire thing. They're like trying to stop them, like, like trying to go about this peacefully, like, please stop. Listen, dude, listen. listen to what you're doing. And Yahushua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Yeh Yehuna, which which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes. They so said they tore their garments. Yeah, rent their clothes, tore their garments. Yeah, ripped it off. And they spoke unto all the company of the children of Yashrael, saying, the land which we passed through to search it is an exceeding good land. If Yahuwah delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only rebel not ye against Yahuwah. Neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them, and Yahuwah is with us. Fear them not. Now, here's some young bucks. I don't even know if they're young bucks, but they're younger than I the rest of them. I assume they're young. Uh, uh, young. When, he, when he took over the command after Moses died at 120, he was, like, he was 90. Yeah. It's, ya 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 that's, yeah. that's like 40 years later. <laughs> yeah. Was, so, anyway. 10. But all the assembly bade stone them with stones, and the glory of Yahuwah appeared in the tabernacle of the assembly before all the children of Yashrael. Now, this is, this is one of these... Boys, sit down. Yeah, he's like, he's like about to break this up. Yeah. He's like seeing some crazy stuff happening when these dudes are all out against. There's about four people about to die right here, and there's the four children people they are. And they're about to like get stony. I was like, hold up, break it up, break it up. It's like dad coming out with a wooden paddle, right? <laughs> Everybody knows it's on. Uh-oh. Okay, 11. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, how long will this people provoke me? And how long will it be ere they believe me for the, all the signs which I have showed among them? I will smite them with the pestilence and disinherit them and will make of you a greater nation and mightier than they. And Moshe said unto El Yahuwah, and this is why Moshe is the man. El, and then the Mitzrayim shall hear it. For you brought up this people in your might from among them and they will tell it to the inhabitants of this land. For they have heard that you Yahuwah are among this people, that you Yahuwah are seen face to face and that your cloud stands over them and that you go before them by daytime in, in a pillar of a cloud and in a pillar of fire by night. Now, if you shall kill all this people as one man, 
Then the nations which have heard the fame of you will speak, saying, Because Yahuwah was not able to bring this people into the land which he swore unto them, therefore he has slain them in the wilderness. And now I beseech you, let the power of my Adonai be great, according as you have spoken, saying, Yahuwah is long-suffering and of great mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations. Pardon, I beseech you, the iniquity of this people according unto the greatness of your mercy, and as you have forgiven this people from Mitzriam even until now. And Yahuwah said, I have pardoned according to your word, but as truly as, but as, truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with the glory of Yahuwah. Because all those men which have seen my glory and my miracles, which I did in Mitzrayim and in the wilderness, and have tempted me now these ten times, and have not hearkened to my voice, surely they shall not see the land which I swore unto their fathers. Neither shall any of them that provoked me see it. But my servant Caleb, because he had another Ruach in him, and has followed me fully, him will I bring into the land whereunto he went, and his seed shall possess it. Now the Amlican and the Kinnaneum dwelt in the valley, giants. Tomorrow turn you and get you into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe and unto El Eron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil assembly which murmur against me? I have heard the murmurings of the children of Yashrael, which they murmur against me. Say unto them, As truly as I live, says Yahuwah, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness, and all that were numbered of you according to your whole number, from twenty years old and upward, which have murmured against me. Doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swore to make you dwell therein, save Caleb the son of Yehuna, and Yahushua the son of Nun. But your little ones, which ye, should, which ye said should be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know the land which ye have despised. But as for you, your carcasses, they shall fall in this wilderness." And your children shall wander in the wilderness forty years and bear your whoredoms until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. After the number of days in which ye search the land, even forty days, each day for a year shall ye bear your iniquities, even forty years, and ye shall know my breach of promise. I, Yahuwah, have said, I will surely do it unto all this evil assembly that are gathered together against me. In this wilderness they shall be consumed, and there they shall die. And the men which Moshe sent to search the land, who returned and made all the assembly to murmur against him by bringing up a slander upon the land, even those men that did bring up the evil report upon the land died by the plague before Yahuwah. All right, so what plague? Maybe uh, leprosy because they spoke evil? I don't know. We don't, we don't know exactly what it was. I mean, they all, well, they all died off, I assume, yeah. fairly quickly. They had died by plague. Probably leprosy since there was evil speak. It was probably leprosy. Could be. But Yahushua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Yefuna. How do you say that right? Yef, yef, Yefuna. 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 Uh, which were of the men that went to search the land, lived still. And Moshe told these sayings unto all the children of Yashrael, and the people mourned greatly. Oh, back to your crying, folks. Yeah. And they rose up early in the morning and got them up into the top of the mountain, saying, Lo, we be here, and we'll go up into, unto the place which Yahuwah has promised, for we have sinned. And Moshe said, Wherefore now do ye transgress the commandment of Yahuwah? But it shall not prosper. Go not up, for Yahuwah is not among you, that ye be not smitten before your enemies. For the Amalekim and the Kenaim are there before you, and ye shall fall by the sword, because ye are turned away from Yahuwah. Therefore Yahuwah will not be with you. But they presumed to go up unto the hilltop. Nevertheless, the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah and Moshe departed not out of the camp. Then the Amalekian came down and the Kenanim, which dwelt in that hill, and smote them and discomfited them, even unto Korma. All right, so what do we got? Um, so these guys basically... They decided they were going to say, hey, you know what? We don't like this. We're not going to wander around for 40 years. We're going to go up there and take these guys. Cause we're, it's, like we're, it's too late. You guys already messed this one up. You guys already like decided you didn't want to do it. And they're like, oh, but we'll do it now. And, then and This they, is a bunch of untrained slaves, right? They were slaves out of Mitzrayim, right? And they, they get completely whipped. whipped. Yep. Yeah. They took a beating. Yeah, and they, a lot of them probably died right there. So I guess what's the lesson, Jade? Uh, obey Yahuwah. Obey Yahuwah. Trust Yahuwah. Trust. Trust. That's what I'm looking for there. All right. Um, anybody have anything else? Eli? No. You speak way too much. 
can you settle it down? Simmer it down, please. All right. All right. Uh, Nicole, you got anything? No. You need to simmer down, too, please. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Uh, not much, really. It's just uh, don't fear like what uh, the world because Yahoo is watching you. Do not fear the world. That's an absolutely good way that we can end this. Don't fear the world. Yahoo is with you. So have courage, everybody out there. Much love to you out there. Big hugs to everybody in our family out there. We'll love you. All right. Have Shalom. a good day. Shalom. Shalom.